Alright, today we're doing four of the Necrozma tens. And we're going to talk about PSA. And specifically, PSA 10 Gem Mint. Um, I don't know what to call it. Uh, the need to have PSA 10 is um, something that has gotten away from, I think, Pokemon. We, we're just so spoiled with the, the PSA 10s. If you look at, um, you know, Magic even, Magic, they're kind of spoiled too. Um, with the PSA 10s, not as much as Pokemon though. Um, but as you go back to like um, football or baseball or hockey, you're talking about cards in those arenas going for millions of dollars. Um, in PSA 4, PSA 5. Uh, I think people in Pokemon need to remember that um, Near Mint is, you know, the classification when you go to, it's kind of the standard if you go to uh, TCG Player, Troll and Toad, uh, cool stuff, Near Mint is the classification that most people use uh, is the standard. I mean, it's just the standard. And that is a PSA 7 to PSA 8. You know? Uh, yeah, PSA 10 Gem Mint is the best. But, that doesn't mean anything below PSA 10 is crap and um, that's kind of how Pokemon has the market at least in Pokemon has treated anything below PSA 10 is just absolute crap it's not worth anything you get a you know PSA 10 Charizard secret rare it's worth you know a thousand dollars or you you get a PSA 9 uh, maybe it's worth $150. Um, I don't think so. And I think for, for Pokemon to progress as a, an established TCG, um, collectible, uh, you know, unregistered asset collectible type type thing um, we are going to need for this kind of attitude to go away and I, I, I don't know how we go about changing that narrative or helping people understand uh, I guess we'll go with Sun and Moon Burning Shadows first. Ooh, these packs are super hard to open. So, I don't know. I think eventually it'll just happen, but I think the sooner that people realize this, the better. I mean, for me, PSA 10 first edition base set Charizard. I want that card. Right? I want to buy as many of those as I can. And guess what? PSA 10 is way out of my price range. PSA 9 is way out of my price range. I'll be honest. If I want to get more than one, PSA 8 
PSA 7 are out of my price range. Got a Gosloplod. So I'm looking to pick up PSA 5 and 6 on the cheap. Now, will I get those? Probably not. Just being honest. If I ever get one, I'll let you guys know. I'll show it off. But it's probably not going to happen. But, when you go to look at, um, you know, maybe first edition Lapras from Fossil uh, PSA 8. That's a solid investment right there. You guys, I mean, if you can pick that up for a decent price, um, that's a solid investment. I don't know what to tell you on that one. Uh, these tins are, uh, this, these four tins at least, are killing me. Unless that's a Tapu Lele right there. I see something shiny. Can you, can you see it? I see something shiny. Oh, it's a wishy-washy. So, <laughs> Nope. Alright, last pack. They could have something... Nope. Alright, we got on, uh, on to... Evolutions. This is this is this is a hail mary right here. Try to get some value out of here. Oop, nope. I need like uh, full art Mega Charizard or some uh, Hollow Charizard. Reverse Hollow Charizard would be good too. Uh, that's in PSA 10 condition, but that's not looking like it's gonna happen. Oof. Okay, so um, these Necrozma tins. Um, thumbs down. Thumbs down. This is. That was bad. That's just bad. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the rant. Till next time, you guys have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe and share this with everybody else. What are you guys waiting for?